Welcome back to another bag review by Dave Sam. Today we are taking a look at the last bag in our sling series, and it is a fun one. The Bellroy Sling Mini. My name is Dave Sam and I do men's bag reviews. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're a repeat visitor, thank you for spending your time with me. It's much appreciated. Uh, if you're a bag junkie, don't forget to go down and get subscribed and maybe get notified for any new bag news or bag reviews that I'm doing. If you're not familiar with Bellroy, then that is a tragedy for you because they make super high quality material and goods. They started out as a leather goods company making things like wallets and phone cases, but they've since branched out to a variety of bags and other EDC accessories. Each collection they design is crafted with a special purpose in mind and the Sling Mini, especially in this material, is no different. This Sling Mini version that I have in this bluish hue is their high IQ V-Block technology, which is made out of completely antimicrobial materials, um, which we'll get into in just a second, but very interesting, they're all in this blue color. The collection is not limited to bags, it features a variety of things on their website, like wallets and phone cases as well, so a lot of different items that you could potentially check out here. All right, if you know a Dave Sam review, you know we always start with the outside of the bag and the Sling Mini in this high IQ V-Block technology is obviously not black. It's it's this blue hue, my beloved black. But it is still really pretty, it's still really nice overall. I do like this blue hue, that's why I picked it up. Now if you are familiar with Bellroy, you know that they don't just sell one color of anything. If you go to the Sling Mini online, there are a plethora of color combinations. You can get some simple materials, you can get premium materials, you can get this high IQ one. Um, I would definitely recommend going to the website, taking a look at all the different color combinations and seeing which one matches either your style or your wardrobe. Let's talk a little bit about the high IQ technology. Now I mentioned earlier it is antimicrobial. I don't want that to be confused with it being a disinfecting material. If you put things inside of it that you think are dirty, it is not going to be disinfecting them. The outside of the bag, because it's touched so frequently, they made the outside layer this antimicrobial material. So basically the outside of the bag will continue to kill microorganisms, uh, but only the outside of the bag. So your stuff inside, though it may be protected when it's inside, is not actively being cleaned or anything like that. There are two YKK zippers along the top of the bag. They're not AquaGuard sealed, so um, you know, beware a little bit. The bag itself is water resistant, uh, so you shouldn't have to worry too much, but just something to be aware of. Um, each one offers access to a different compartment within the bag, and they are accented by, again, blue, this blue leather pull tab here, or zip pull here, which makes it much easier to, I guess, use the zipper overall. The harness system here is really nice, easy to use. Uh, and I didn't really think I'd say this about another bag, but it's honestly almost perfect. It's got this thin enough yet thick enough seat belt webbing, uh, which is comfortable on the shoulder. It has this really nice metal or magnetic buckle here, which is very satisfying to use. Really, really nice overall and secure. I've never worried about it coming on or off. And then it's super easy to adjust with this metal clip here. There's one additional unique feature about this harness system and it's actually built into the sides here. As you're using the bag, it will cinch down as you sling it over or attach it as a fanny. Basically it cinches down to whatever's in the bag, which is awesome in my opinion. You can see when it's expanded, it's actually pretty wide overall, but because I don't have a ton in here right now, it really sits super flat on the back and then it attaches at the top. So um, if you've watched any of my other reviews, you know I love that because then the anchor point is the top of the bag and then it flops down perfectly and sits flat on your back. There are two compartments on this sling bag, which is really typical of a sling this size, but 
they've done something or Bellroy has done something fairly unique here. Instead of having a main compartment and a secret or, you know, kind of back compartment, very flat, only fits maybe papers in it. Um, they've created a quick access compartment and we'll see exactly what that looks like as far as quick access uh, and a main compartment, which I actually really, really liked using in practice. The front pocket, which is the one that has the Bellroy logo here, doesn't have a ton of dimension to it and is just a kind of quick flat pocket, but it also has these two mesh compartments on either side. Right now, I've got my wallet in one, I carry my keys in the other, and then I put my phone in front of both of these. The back compartment, and this one is the big one. It's accented with this nice gray color. I don't know if you can see it. This has the main access or the main kind of what I call the hole of the compartment. Got a cable in here, hand sanitizer, my mask, utility tool, and my final straw. And otherwise, it's just a big hole really. It has a very short, key loop here, plastic key loop, which is really simple. Um, you put something on it, in all honesty, it is gonna fall off. That happened to me multiple times. So I wouldn't depend on it too much, but can be used. And then it has right at the back, so what would be sitting on your chest or on your back, however you're wearing it, there is another internal zippered compartment. And this one is felt lined. This compartment being felt lined is really nice. You could also use this for your phone if you wanted to slip it in here. I personally think it's hard to do two steps uh, and then leaving it opened or unzipped made it a little bit more cumbersome to use the main compartment because this this flap here, the zipped flap is just super floppy. So always found my hand coming in there instead of the main compartment, which is what I wanted to get. So I think it's meant for sunglasses overall and would be perfect for that use. So I mentioned one thing that I love earlier about the harness system, how it compresses the bag all the way down to just the size of what you have inside of it, which is really nice. But when you're actually wearing the bag, and you bring it forward, depending on how tight you have the straps, it does keep tightening, you know, as you're trying to get into it, it can be a little cumbersome. You find yourself kind of stretching it open to find the thing that you need, hoping that it's in the place that you left it. So it is a bit of a double-edged sword. At two and a half liters, the bag is big enough for sure for plenty of stuff. Um, I definitely fit a smaller swell water bottle in here. I couldn't fit my 24 ounce, but I did fit my 18 ounce in here. Um, phone, daily carry items, um, straw, knife, other things. Um, it fits all those things. Even though it is a great bag, it's beautiful to use, it does carry a lot. Something to consider is that it ultimately is a little cumbersome to use. You do need to take it off sometimes if you want to get in and out of it um, quickly, which it's not a deal breaker, but it's not ideal for something that's meant to be quick carry, quick everyday carry. The Bellroy Sling Mini is a great little sling to add to your collection at $89. I think it's priced probably right at the right point um, for what you get. And I don't think that you'll be disappointed if you purchase it. So if you need something that fits all your daily carry items, stuff that you have in your pockets normally, maybe a few other knickknacks, um, definitely turns a few heads. It is pretty, like I said. This might be the bag for you overall. I don't know that I would say look no further. There are plenty of bags I think that meet this need, but this is a top tier sling at this size. Now, if you're somebody who has more versatility needs as far as what you wanna carry in this sling, or you need something that's a little more weatherproof, this is probably not gonna be the sling that meets your needs. I bet that if you buy it, it will slit in a closet somewhere. Thanks for watching another bag review by Dave Sam. Next week, we are gonna be resuming our backpack reviews overall. We're gonna take a break from any of the slings. Uh, and we're gonna be doing something that I am pretty excited about, a new bag from Wandered, mentioned it a couple weeks ago, the Provoke Light, which is the 
smallest camera cube first version of the Provoke. Let me know what you think of the Bellroy Sling Mini down below in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to drop a like. It definitely helps the channel out a ton. And let me know if you want to see any other bags or anything that you're excited about that you want to hear my opinion on. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.